how much would you pay for a glimpse of the future? More importantly, if you saw the future, would you take advantage of it? Or would this just be another missed opportunity? The stock you should have sold, the land you could have bought, the opportunity you would have taken, but didn't. How many more opportunities are going to fall into your lap? This may be your last chance. Pay attention. Once every decade, something really big comes along. In the 70s, it was the microwave. In the 80s, it was the VCR. In the 90s, it was PCs and the internet. People who were positioned correctly in the 80s became millionaires. People who were positioned correctly in the 90s became billionaires. What do you think is going to happen in the next few years? In his best-selling book, The Next Trillion, noted economist Paul Zane Pilzer states that by the year 2010, an additional $1 trillion annually of the U.S. economy will be devoted to the wellness industry, providing healthy people products to make them feel even healthier, look better, slow down the effects of aging, or to prevent diseases from developing in the first place. Think about it. Most wellness industry sales did not even exist two decades ago. Today, they already total approximately $200 billion in annual sales, about half the amount spent on automobiles in the U.S. Today, $200 billion a year. By 2010, $1 trillion. That's $1,000 billion a year. For those of you not into math, that is 500% growth. How is that kind of growth possible? How is that kind of growth predictable? Two words, baby boomers. You've been hearing about them for 20 years. They've been dictating our economy for 20 years. Isn't it about time you cashed in? The baby boomers are now 37 to 55 years old. Peak earning years, bigger dollars, more spending power. Boomers are already responsible for the housing boom, the sport utility vehicle, personal computers, and the internet. In short, boomers and the things they want are already $5 trillion of our $10 trillion economy. Even though they're only about 30% of our population, they're 50% of our gross national product. More significantly, they're about to add $1 trillion to this $5 trillion of spending every year to preserve the one thing they hope works better than any SUV, condo, or computer, their youth. Youth, anti-aging, health, wellness, the next big thing. In the next 10 years, U.S. baby boomers will increase their annual spending on wellness-based services from approximately $200 billion today to $1 trillion. $1 trillion. That's $2.7 billion every day. $114 million every hour. $1.9 million every minute. Unprecedented opportunity for those who see it, for those who do something about it. But how do you cash in? You have four options. One, as a practitioner. Two, as a manufacturer. Three, as a retailer. Or four, as a distributor. Practitioners like doctors, massage therapists, chiropractors, and naturopathic healers stand to make a fortune in the next few years. If they can afford to pay off their school loans. If they can stay ahead of the insurance companies. If they keep trading time for money. Manufacturing is a great business to be in. If you have millions to invest in infrastructure, patents, research, shipping, and receiving. Retailing? Sure, great opportunity. If you can afford franchise fees, seven-day work weeks, advertising, inventory, and employee problems. Distribution? Well, the greatest personal fortunes of the past three decades were made by people who found better ways of distributing things rather than better ways of making things. People like Sam Walton of Walmart, Fred Smith of Federal Express, and Jeff Bezos of Amazon.com. The one thing they have in common? They all are, or were, distributors. But where Walton and Smith found better ways to physically distribute products that consumers already knew they wanted, the new billionaires of the 21st century are making their distribution fortunes educating consumers about new products and new distribution channels. It's been called business at the speed of thought. Better products. Better distribution. Better opportunities.
Why? Because 78 million baby boomers with 1,000 billion in cash can't be stopped. They want to go rollerblading. They want to drive sports cars. They don't want to age. And they're willing to spend almost anything to stay young, healthy, and full of vitality. In the next 10 years, U.S. baby boomers will increase their spending on wellness-based services from approximately $200 billion today to $1 trillion every year. Will you be ready? The person who shared this tape with you can introduce you to a wellness distribution business model that is already successful and proven. A model that you can start part-time from your home without a large capital investment, without employees, and without the headaches of traditional business ownership. A business that in your spare time could mean anything from a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand dollars a month or more. And because it's a home-based business, you can qualify for incredible tax advantages. Imagine it's 1980. Bill Gates is looking for investors. He thinks there's going to be a personal computer explosion. What are you going to do this time? Remember, Sam Walton didn't start Walmart until he was 44. At age 61, he was the richest man in the world. What's your excuse? One thing is for sure. If you watched this tape and paid an ounce of attention, you can't say you didn't know. When your children and grandchildren ask about the great prosperity of the early 2000s, what will you tell them? Will you be explaining how you positioned yourself and benefited from the opportunity? Or will you be how you missed it? The statistics are real. The trends are real. The timing is real. How many more opportunities are going to fall into your lap? Whatever you do, don't miss this one.